Oh, here we go. Here we go. We're in. My headset's being assigned just now. Okay. Alright, what are we getting? It sounds okay, everybody? Just let me know if it sounds a little quiet. Alright, oh, is this Monster Hunter or some shit? Is that Rapide? Tales of Vesperia? What's going on here? This is Monster Hunter, isn't it? Yo, that's my problem. Yeah, it's Monster Hunter. Alright, that's a good little stir. Oh, he's riding shit. Oh, he's riding, like, up a fucking... Like, I, I haven't gotten super into the series yet, but I'm always excited to see what they bring in. I just got an important letter. It looks like it's kind of cool. We've got a rampage on our hands. Oh, uh, what are the, what are the monsters now? What are we getting to fight? Oh man, they always have like these like names and like stats and stuff for them. It's so cool. Like, each of these monsters has like a backstory and like a certain like way that they live and shit. Kind of cool. I got some beefy armor. It's been 50 years since the last calamity. That monster is known as Magnum Malo. I don't know if that's supposed to mean something, but it sounds cool. <laughs> Evil chocobos, bro. These, these giant fat platypuses, too. Platypi? Is that, is that it? <laughs> the music is kind of familiar. It's, it's, it's kind of nice. That's something good right in the beginning. Yeah, this is a uh, Capcom. This is for my fellow hunters. I'm trying to rise, bro. Remember when every game was Rise? Shall we go? Or every movie was Rise. May hey, March 26 could be a birthday gift. <laughs> that's that's pretty soon, actually. For a brand new Monster Hunter game, six months. There you go. Boom, in your pocket. I mean, unless you're downloading it. It's in your SD card, whatever. You can play the latest installment in the Monster Hunter series oh, wherever this you voice are guy. and however you'd like. That is, that is soon, isn't it? We've prepared a trailer <laughs> for another title, so please take a look. All right. <laughs> he's like, he's like, no, don't, don't go away yet. We got a little more. Right, damn. What is this? It's Winkle. I'm not even sure what this is. It, look, it looks a little bit like Breath of the Wild or Pokemon or something with the art style. It's no mere coincidence that you were given Red's Kinship Stone and now Arathalos. Oh, this is, um, this Monster is Hunter destiny. again. Arathalos is a Monster Hunter. I'm so glad. Monster. You're still alive. Why is this I Breath of the Wild, I'd though? I'd never see you again. Interesting. Okay, pal, let's do this. Hey, what's that? I'd be lying if I said I wasn't nervous, but it'll work out. <laughs> it looks fun. Red? Moon's blessing emerge. Quick, hurry! Don't know if it looks like a story-based monster. Based Our mission is to see if it truly has catastrophic power. Rathalos are disappearing from their natural huh. habitats. I'll, I'll be honest, this looks more fun. Like a good uh, entry point. Wait, there's a first one? <laughs> Uh-oh. <laughs> I didn't know there was already a first one. That's cool, though. 
That's pretty good. Summer. Oh, that's pretty fucking far away, though. That's that's like nine months away now, or, or like even more. Hello, everyone. Welcome to our third Nintendo Direct Mini Partner Showcase. I know it's your what third you've just Nintendo. Seen is a first look at Monster Hunter. It's your third Rise in a row, bro. Monster Hunter Stories Two: Wings of Ruin. Stay tuned for Monster Hunter Direct. Yeah, I'm gonna get more natural sunlight. Which will provide an in-depth look at both games. Uh -huh. This Nintendo Direct Mini Partner Showcase it's presentation will deliver the latest information about upcoming Nintendo Switch there games. There we go. A little more natural sunlight. Partners. More videos in this series. We can do that in the morning. I'm just not used to opening my window because I'm usually streaming at night. <laughs> is that better or worse? Rhythm with boxing exercises. Oh, is this random boxing the game? To fitness boxing where you can oh no! Working out We're already into the weird middle part of the direct. Grab your Joy-Con controllers and match rhythm oh, like fuck. one, two. Select your favorite music and courses. I mean, it, it was fun then when I watched Dashi play. Boxing exercises. <laughs> Customize your instructor's outfit to provide even more variety for I guess your workouts. That's a DLC for Ring Fit. We might get to that. We'll see. Because I don't. You, you do punch like a fucking giant ring and like a, a little leg strap. I don't know if it works. Function <laughs> and the ability to turn off boxing moves. Save data. Uh, this, this also was a game by someone else. I think. Game. I don't know what the publisher was. So use all these features to help keep you going. Select <laughs> any one of the nine instructors, including three new ones. Three new ones. Janice. Hero. But is there a point? Though? And Karen. Karen, dude. You choose All Karen for sure. All of them have their own distinct personality and are here to support and motivate you. Uh, I'm feeling pretty fucking motivated right now, Box bro. Box to the beat when Fitness Boxing 2, Rhythm and Wait, Exercise a sequel? launches on Nintendo Switch December 4th. Oh, that was a DLC update. <laughs> They're making a whole sequel? Later today. They're, they, they sold enough copies to make a sequel? I mean, I mean good for them, but... Yeah, they are trying to get us from getting fat shit. An all-new Disgaea game is here, dude! Oh, fuck. They had to they had to get him to say that. Oh, this guy is six. That's kind of cool. I mean, by all accounts, I should be into this series. <laughs> but I just haven't brand gotten into any of them yet. of Disgaea is coming to the Nintendo Switch system. Meet Zed, the protagonist of Disgaea 6. Why is he a but zombie? he's not just some lowly zombie. <laughs> As a result of Super Reincarnation, he'll become stronger the more he super dies. Reincarnation. Vibrant characters full of personality also make their appearance in Colossal Showdowns. The beloved over-the-top battle system makes a triumphant return. Man, look now, at those Max fucking attack stats, dude. Look, yo, I got 8,000 attacks, Max level is nearly 100 million. No, like, Reincarnate this in doesn't, this gets me less excited seeing, like, fucking 69s. Get, get ready for experience. I see that many nines on the screen, bro. Genre and destiny. This guy has six. Defiance of destiny I mean, that's is coming cool. exclusively to Nintendo. That's Switch cool. I mean, there's also like five of those I haven't played though, too. So that Plus, could take a long time. Plus, the previous title, this guy has five complete, will be free to play for a limited time. Okay, wait a minute. Now, this, I'm actually more excited about this. Nintendo Switch Online. This guy has five for free for a week, dude. Can you beat? Can I beat the whole game in a week? <laughs> I don't think you can. Defend your turf in a ruthless criminal underworld. Is this random thing? There's a whole lot of trouble. The name is Goldie. Way down Chicago way. I run the fortune teller. Oh, is that Mafia game? If you're looking for a I think we saw this a little bit earlier. Ain't like a year ago almost. I am a performer by art, but keep my business out of the spotlight. Capone and Angelo don't really Capone, know what started really. their feud, but oh. I do. I poisoned Capone's supply. It looks like, um, take the fall. what's that game? These Divinity Original Sin? Players in my but for Mafia people, I'm a the Switch. World is for, my for, stage only for Mafia I people. They're the, the only ones I could buy. And we are about to oh, this is a fun game. A big show. <sighs> the Switch isn't super powerful. The, the Switch is kind of, the Switch is kind of rough. Get it. You know um, you ain't gonna find it in our, our phones are more powerful than the Switch. So. This is really amazing, though. That's good. Empire of Sin, dude. Divinity Original Sin, dude. I think they are trying to... A terrifying trying threat to copy, draws not near copy it, but they're trying to be shooter. inspired by it or, or link themselves in with it. We closed the trap on Hitler's North Africa campaign. Is this Sniper Elite, like, 5 or something? next? Shit? I'm headed for San Salim. Why is he going in? He's going in. I went to Italy southwest. My target is General Tobias. Schmidt. If they're focusing on it being on a small a screen, it's probably a remake of an old one. With no surprises. What could be easier? What could be easier? Oh, 
Oh yeah, Sniper Elite, for sure. These are fun games. I played the third game for a bit, but that's all I know. <laughs> third game was pretty fun. As long as you don't get caught. If you get caught, you get like sprayed the fuck down. All right, so it's four. So this one, uh, this one was already out before, and they're they're putting it on the Switch, which is pretty cool. I don't think we're getting any Metroid Fire Emblem guys. Here's a quick look at what else is coming to Nintendo Switch this month. <laughs> you gotta, I don't think we're even getting a Smash character. It's a little character. too quiet in the long dark. Brave the quiet oh, okay. long dark's in this to be exploration good. survival game. You're on your own as you journey through a frozen wilderness in the aftermath of a geomagnetic disaster. A chilling narrative awaits in the Wintermute story This would be a mode. good little survival or game. enjoy hours of permadeath survival gameplay. Yeah, play. permadeath, dude. Experience true survival on Nintendo Switch later today. Later today. That's cool to say something like that. You don't really get that with Sony. The Fairway is open in PGA Tour 2K21. Play against the pros on visually stunning real-life courses. Visually it's stunning? <laughs> oh, fuck. You, you held that shot when you said visually sites. stunning? Yikes, bro. A physical version of this game swings onto part. Nintendo Switch September 25th. The Ooh. God of the Dead in this Greek mythology inspired Ooh, dungeon visually crawling. stunning, guys. Thousands of story events and ability combinations ensure hey, a unique experience kind of each time you hack and slash your way out of the underworld, wielding the powers of mythical weapons of Olympus to aid in your escape. Hades comes to Nintendo Looks Switch like later or today. Oh, this, this was fun. The fantastic land of Wonderworld. This, this was a, a fun little game. Uh... What was it, like our Welcome mini E3 in July or something we saw this? Leo and Emma were led here by the mysterious maestro, Balin. Wonderworld contains 12 dreamlike Balin, stages, Wonderworld, dude. Including an ocean stage, a wind stage, and more. Ocean stage? That's an interesting way to put it. As Leo and Emma, you'll don costumes to wield a variety of abilities. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Ride the wind to float in the air. Puffing around. Pack powerful punches to destroy giant blocks. Like, it kind of looks like the best game there are over 80 we've costumes seen. To find. I mean, I don't want to trash talk Monster Hunter. I mean, those games look like legitimately really like good. Hidden statues to progress to new stages. I know there's a Monster Hunter Stories game already, though. I'm Menacing look into bosses that. await at the end of each stage. This looks really fun. You can also pass a Joy-Con controller to a friend in a co-op mode. Combine your abilities and uh, I think I think I'll pass them the together. pro controller. Thank you very much, dude. Unless you can. Balan is waiting for you. <laughs> I can't I can't even explain Balan's why it's funny. We'll make it grand Balan's waiting for you guys. He's waiting. He's waiting for you guys. Your new oh, Rune Factory is a fun little series. Is about to it's begin. like a Harvest Moon, but with RPG elements. Build a new life amidst the grand adventure in this heartwarming RPG. I can't, have they, has five even come out? We've had four since like the DS, dude, or some as shit. As a young man or woman with no memory, a long time. You'll get a fresh start in the rural town of Rigbar. This as looks a nice and pretty neat too. In addition to protecting the town, your day to day will include harvesting crops. This is kind of wild in the background. And fishing in the river. And you go to the dungeon, and you fuck up some monsters. <laughs> you may even find a special someone to start dating, fall in love. And get married. A new battle system allows you to perform combo attacks with allies to take no, down. Bring monsters. your wife to the dungeon, dude. <laughs> your bring your wife into the dungeon. Sword. Get her to do some fucking when killing, dude. Come on, just do shit. In 2021. <laughs> That's cool, I guess. All right, this next title will be our last announcement. Already, dude. Holy shit. Oh, Ori in the bitch ass forest, dude. Ori in the Willow of the bitch. I don't. I don't know. I don't, one of them is the sequel. I think Willow the Wisp is the sequel. This is a really cool game. The music's so good. This is when you say the music is really amazing, though. Funny because I think this is a Microsoft exclusive, or it used to be. So Microsoft's just giving their shit away. <laughs> They're like, here, take it. We don't want it anymore. Well, I mean, they still have it on the Xbox, but. Ori and the Will of the Wisp. 
There's two wisps or, or more. It's a plural amount of wisps. Oh shit! I mean, that's pretty fucking sick. Later to how later though? Like, are we talking like right now? What's going on here? Why is this like a super fucking HD like CGI? Oh fuck! Wait, they're sliding it in too. That's a I, that makes it look good. That makes it look really fucking nice, dude. Look at it like that. Pretty now. Right That's all for now. today's Nintendo Direct Mini Partner Showcase. Thank you for watching. Stay tuned for Monster Hunter Direct. When? Right now? Are we literally into the Monster Hunter Direct right now? Okay. <laughs> Hello there, everyone. All right. Uh, keep it going. Fuck it. 50 minutes wasn't enough. Please, please. In this direct, we'll be showing off the latest games in the Monster Hunter series. Oh, he's got some uh, some compression going on in his fucking. Please take a look at this announcement trailer. Holy shit! You can see the pixels behind him. Okay, so we're watching this one. This one was the um, like the new Monster Hunter game, um, Rise. The other one was Stories Two. Is that really? Yeah, dude. Like, I I've been telling people since last year, Nintendo has not been bringing it at all lately. The most exciting things they've had are like one-off trailers on their on their Twitter account. Like that Zelda game was just like on Twitter. Like, they just posted. They're like, "Here's a fucking Zelda game coming out this year." Like, damn, why didn't you do that? Why wasn't that Zelda game in this direct, bro? I would have waited if it added to the hype of it. But I mean, Monster Hunter's good, so we'll, we'll check this uh, direct out for sure. There's no way I'm stopping the stream yet. Just got an important. I mean, it's a little rough for them to immediately like replay the first trailer, though. We've got a rampage on our hands. I mean, I guess just to keep it fresh. I just all the monsters and stuff. I mean, it's cool, but it's, it's a lot like the last uh, direct, where the big hype was. Uh, I don't know if it was the last one. It might have been two ago, where the big hype was. Um, Shin Megami Tensei Five. And a remake of Shin Megami Tensei, Tensei 3. Uh, where it's cool. It's cool for Shin Megami Tensei fans. Um, but if you're not a fan of Shin Megami Tensei, and you're not a fan of Monster Hunter, then these directs lately have been a little a little on the uh, rough side. I mean, not even a Smash character either. Like, I, I don't think that's asking for too much. It's been a long time since we had like a big hype announcement. Of these little tablet things we got under our TVs. It looks good. I wonder if this is a Switch exclusive. Are they playing the trailer? Yeah, they're playing the whole trailer again, but afterwards they should talk about it. They better not just be like, let's just replay those two trailers and fuck right off. It really looks cool. Shall we go? Shall we go, dude? Shall we? Shall we really? Yeah, it's only Switch. It's a Switch exclusive. I didn't see that before. Hello. So, what did you think about Monster Hunter Rise? The rise in the title refers to the idea of hunters running up cliffs and making use of the verticality of the Oh, okay. As well as our desire to create a game that gets lots of people around the world. So Breath of the Wild really did like change a lot of like game mechanics and, and, and how Monster people Hunter is a hunting action game series where players get to confront a lot of games went vertical and climbing and naturally like open world after Breath of the Wild. It's been 16 years since the debut of the series. And this new entry will take advantage of the portability of the Nintendo Switch to provide a Monster Hunter experience. Yeah, I mean, the first time I ever saw Monster Hunter was on a PSP. They want. So, now before it would be kind of nostalgic to get it on itself, a Switch. And I'd play like it on, to introduce Yasunori Ichinose, the game's director. Oh, you've just been here? Everyone. I'm Yasunori Ichinose, the, the director. Time. It's nice to be here today. I like how they're distance. First, I'd you like know, to talk six about feet the new actions we've nice. added to this game. This game will let you go to all kinds of places. You can grapple hook whenever, such as cliffs, whenever you want. And I love it. Yeah, I love it, dude. Because if you can grapple hook wherever the fuck you want, that's pretty sick. It's like the the glider from Breath of the Wild. The wire bug. The player carries several of these small several. bugs around and they allow you to climb to a variety of places that would normally be out of reach. Do you consume them or do you just have them like always on? Additionally, 
there's a great variety of actions you can perform. I, I like this bouncy, like, hype shit and jumping around and stuff. Using these unique attacks with your favorite weapon is what the combat is going to be Because when I was about. playing Monster Hunter, um... 40 on the Wii U. Now a lot more I was sucking ass at it, and I felt like I was always like stuck on the ground doing a big animation. Fast -paced combat. And then I got 4 on the 3DS and barely played it. I should play 4 at some point. Next, I'd like to talk more about the And then World was fun, because World, you could like jump around and do like crazy fucking combo shit. Like, I, I guess you always could, but they made it easier in World. To an open and this looks even more like easy. Like, you're, you're grapple hooking, out. you're swinging, you're jumping, you're doing all sorts of shit. Oh, they had to fast forward the gameplay. Of course, we've made sure to create the locales to make full use of I, I the mean, fuck. Ability. You gotta fast forward the fucking gameplay. That's a little rough, man. Now I'd like to tell you a little bit about one of the new areas in this game, which we already showed a glimpse of in the trailer. That's kind of cool. I like how it's, like, man-made. There's, like, From the structures and camp, shit. You can run down the mountain to get to the main field. This area is characterized cool by the scattered ruins it's of the than most Shrine, Hunter areas. hence the name. For sure. I can't explain in too much detail, but there are lots of things to discover across each locale, so I hope you take the time to explore when going on your hunts. What makes Monster Hunter more fun is having like a friend or two that really like it. And they're like, Next, I'd like bro, to show you a new type here you go, of here's the armor set. known as a Palamute. <laughs> Palamute, dude. New Kanye, 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 oh, it's canine, but it's with a Y. These canines can run around. <laughs> the new Kanye buddy, dude. Backs. He looks just While like Ricky. One, your stamina from doesn't details of so you can keep effect. running at high speed I kinda as like long it. as you want. Repeat's cool. Repeat's a cool little character. You'll also be able to perform various actions, like using certain items or recovering <laughs> Eat a your chunk hand. of meat on your dog. As an attacker type, they will help you out in various ways. Slice the fuck out of them. Naturally, the feline palatal oh, from feline past games also make their return again. They will help you out as a support type. You can take two buddies with you on a quest, two and you are free to decide oh, which combination two of, the of buddies cats, you want. Dude. In multiplayer, each hunter can bring one buddy one with buddy. Why wouldn't you want to bring the fucking dog? You can ride it and do crazy shit with the dog. Next, I'd like to talk about the new monsters. Okay. Is that fucking weird one on the right? First, the long this is one? the flagship monster for this game, Magna Malo. We can't show it in full yet, but it's a fearsome fanged wyvern with a strong air of menace about it. With that fucking scorpion tail, dude, it'll get you real good with that. The next Look at this one! Is Aknosom. Oh, he had fucking butts here, dude. Aknosom is a bird wyvern that attacks hunters Ooh. with its characteristic crest. By changing its shape, that one looks like it'd be a hard fight. Getting flung over the fucking place. This monster is the bird wyvern Great Izuchi. Oh, he's whipping his shit around. Its main characteristic is that it tends to move around in groups of three, attacking all at once or in succession. You got many guys. Hunting them. They're, they're just jumping and fucking all over the fucking place, dude. They're whipping their shit all over the place. And this is the amphibian Tetranodon. And here's the platypus. It swallows up gravel to expand its body and then charges at hunters. As its body changes, so do its attacks. So you'll need to change your approach on the fly. Even, even the stuff. fucking gameplay they're showing, the guy's getting destroyed, dude. Oh, they're fighting each As other. As you can see, Tetranodon and Arzuros are in a fight here. We are working on new gameplay He's elements that arise through fights between monsters. We'll share more about this yeah, That's later exciting. Day. I like when monsters fight each other. Of course, there are other returning monsters, including Arzuros and plenty of new monsters, too. Arzuros. So please look forward to more monster info in the future. Next, I'd like to show your base in this game. Okay. Your base in this game is called Kamura Village. It looks pretty fun over here. You'll find all they, the conveniences right? a hunter needs, like the smithy and other facilities. And all kinds of colorful characters. Shall we go? <laughs> the third story time. in this game unfolds through the characters of this village. 
I've just got an important letter. It looks like we've got a rampage on our hands. This is a cool match. I can't say anything yet about the rampage, but we are aiming to provide a new experience with this. So please look forward to future announcements. What are you doing with that fucking... Those cats, what are they doing with that waste shit? We hope you liked what we've shown so Yeah, we're pretty alright. close things off, I'd like to share the release date and the details on the different versions. Oh cool, release date. As oh, we already know the release date. In the trailer, <laughs> the game will release oh, on March 26th, 2021. And you'll be able to choose from the following versions. Versions? The standard edition, and the deluxe edition with a bundle of recommended DLC. Cool. Supply will be limited. Pewter and get all fucking versions will include crazy special layered armor for your Palamute and Palico, plus a novice talisman as pre-order bonuses. Also, we will be oh, that's releasing kinda cool. these amiibos from, from Monster Hunter. Hunter Rise They're the really going in with this Monster Hunter stuff, which is good. Using these amiibo lets you unlock special Three layered in armor Canada while supplies last. On top of that, you can also enter a daily lottery in the game. Well, thank for you for thank you for considering items. Canada. We don't usually get considered in we anything. We will provide ever. more details on these amiibo in the future. We hope you'll get them along with the game. The game will also have some compatibility features. Oh, that's cool. Features with that's Monster old school. That's GameCube old school compatibility. Today. Please look forward to Super more information cool. on that as well. For more information about Monster Hunter Rise, please check out our official website which will go up later today. Pre-orders for the download version will start shortly after this Monster Hunter Direct. That's pretty good. So please head on over to the Nintendo eShop and have a look. Please check with your local retailer for pre-order I feel like he's like, he's helping us out, you know? He's like, man, like, here's the versions, you know? Like, here's the release date. That's here's, all for here's Monster Hunter Rise. You want to pre-order, you can do it. But Mr. Ichinose has a few final words for you. Okay. Thank you for watching this introduction of Monster Hunter Rise. This guy hasn't said a whole lot yet. We are currently working hard on completing the development of this new Monster Hunter game. Your reaction to this announcement will give us strength and motivation. So please let us know what you think. Strength and motivation, I love it. We hope you'll enjoy Monster Hunter Rise. I hope I will too. All right. So this was the Next one I was a little more excited about. It's my about. pleasure to introduce the newest RPG Which, in the Monster you know, Hunter series. Call me weird or whatever, but this Hunter one just had like a little more like going on of for ruin. it. At least for me. Please take a look. This is gonna be the trailer again, I bet. Yeah, it's fine. I'll watch the trailer again. <laughs> oh, Nintendo! Right after Sony shit, dude. Fuck, Sony, fucking brought it yesterday. So it was like, oh man, you, you like Final Fantasy 16 kids? You like Resident Evil 8 kids? You like it's God of War Ragnarok kids? You were, we were fucking crazy done. last night. And now You like Spider-Man kids? This is destiny. Demon Souls. I'm so glad. Man, they had some good shit yesterday. I'm alive. I thought I'd never see you again. See, my my question is the first game. Okay, pal, let's do this. The first uh, Hunter Stories game. Hey, what's that? I actually don't I'd know. I'd be lying if I said I wasn't nervous, but it'll work out. <laughs> Red? Moon's blessing emerge. Quick, hurry! We don't know if it's the right monster. Our mission is to see if it truly has catastrophic powers. Take a look. Rathalos are disappearing from their natural habitats. Oh, it's a 3DS game. An Angina? That's kind of cool then. Going from 3DS to Switch. Platform Nintendo 3DS, Android, and iOS. Released in uh, September three years ago. Huh. Alright, I'll have to look into it then. I feel bad if I didn't play the first game. In this game, you'll become a monster rider, 
Traveling the world with your monster companions as you tackle quests and experience a rich story set in the Monster Hunter universe. You'll be joined on your adventure by a number of popular monsters from the main series, and the bonds you forge together will have far-reaching implications as the plot well, unfolds. I, I remember all these fucking guys from Monster Hunter World. Our emotional story begins with the mass disappearance of Rathalos from around the world. As the descendant of the legendary writer named Red, you have a fateful encounter with a Liberian girl who has been entrusted with an egg. I can't say much more. I don't know. Time, but I just think this one looks a little more interesting. We're working. Yeah, I, I am a very story-focused gamer. Though. Though. I like stories in my game. The series. On top of that, we're including elements that connect in this. this game with Monster Hunter Rise, so please look forward to that as well. Oh, we don't know yet, but we will find out. With the out. game slated for release in summer 2021, we hope that Monster Hunter fans, and all fans of RPGs in general, will enjoy Monster Hunter Stories 2, Wings of Ruin. Yeah, I'll enjoy it, just for we you though. We can't wait to reveal more about this game in the future, so stay tuned. Cool. Today, we introduced you to two new That is pretty hype for Monster Hunter fans. Monster Hunter two Rise games. and Monster Hunter Stories 2. We've created official websites and social media accounts for each title. So please that's, go check you know, that's them out. a lot of dedication. We are also planning to provide more updates at TGS 2020 Online on September 25th. September 25th, the next time I'm live with an event. Capcom TGS Live 2020. On September 26th. Tokyo Game Show is always hype. So please stay tuned for more. They, they announced Fire Emblem Awakening at Tokyo Thank Game Show for 2012. This Monster so Hunter there's always Direct. something. Or 2011. It was one of those two. I think it was 2012. Cool. I mean, like, you know. Fine. Yeah, you need to stream that 100%. Tokyo Game Shows are, like, super exciting. They are mostly in uh, Japanese. I, I'm not sure. I haven't actually done a stream of it ever so i'll have to find out uh, what the trick is to get like another stream that translates it around I, I don't know i'll look into it uh but yeah cool 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 <laughs> let's open it up uh man like it's cool like i don't know i got too excited i wasn't i wasn't holding tight enough to these guys right here these these two these two guys I mean, watch hunter's cool I mean, it made me want to get Monster Hunter Stories 1 on the 3DS. <laughs> so that's cool. Uh, Disgaea, though, looks pretty good. Disgaea 6. Um, yeah, I mean, that's, that's you know, that's pretty that's pretty much it. <laughs> Dude, they'll, they'll, I, I knew it wasn't going to be Metroid, but, like, like fuck, yo. Yeah. Like, not even, like, a fucking Smash character, dude. Uh, that's fine. Um... They, they got to release a fucking normal Nintendo Direct, I think. They got, like, just a, just one normal one sometime this year. I think I'd be happy. And stop releasing shit on Twitter, man. I hate Twitter. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I, I mean, anyways, uh, thanks for joining me so early in the morning or late at night or wherever your time zone is because time zones are wild. Um, I will be streaming again tonight, 10 p.m., my standard time. <laughs> Not Eastern Standard Time, my time. Uh, 10 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Uh, so uh, in about 11 and a half hours, I'll be live for Call of Duty. Um, so yeah, stay tuned for that. Should be a fun night. We're getting, uh, the whole, uh, squad back together. So very exciting, very chill, very, um, not chill, really. Not, not, we're not usually chill with Call of Duty. We're, we're pretty hype and we're pretty exciting. Um, yeah, we'll be a hundred percent, hundred percent would be nice. Oh man. Uh, yeah, I mean, it's something, it's something to look forward to. I mean, Sony's was like fucking sick though. So that's, it's, it's hard to contrast it right after that. Uh, and the new consoles are coming out, and we're pre-ordering PS5s and shit, so. The Switch has a lot of work cut out for it, but I don't think they're even trying to compete. I think they're in their own, they're in their own just headspace. They're in their own realm. They're doing their own thing. They don't even care. <laughs> so they, got, they, they have to be that way. There's no way they'd be that otherwise. Uh, but yeah, you guys have yourselves a fantastic um, rest of your day, morning, night, evening. Uh, and I'll catch you later on for the uh, next stream that we got going on. Uh, so for Mr. Ruse, that'll be for uh, tomorrow. And for uh, people in the Eastern Standard Time Zone, uh, that'll be later tonight. So, yeah. Come hang out with me again. 
Uh, and the next event will be the Tokyo Game Show. So I look forward to that. I look forward to uh, the releases of these consoles. It's going to be big. As a streamer, I think I have to get one at least, you know? And we'll, we'll go through that together. We'll unbox it or something. We'll do something fun. Uh, yes, absolutely. Sorry, the, the screen like went all black and weird. It's like, submit a report. YouTube's broken. Uh, but have, a, have yourselves a good one, guys. I'll catch you later on. Uh, and I guess uh, that's it. Cool. See ya. Yeah, 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 yeah